know, we all know the scripture that says, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he's old, he will not depart from it. <clears throat> a lot of times we only interpret that to mean that you train your children up to love God and to serve God and go to church. And it means that, but it means a lot more than that. I mean, when it says train up your child in the way he should go, the word train is the same word for discipline. So discipline is not just punishment. Uh, discipline is your whole approach to how you raise your kids, knowing the end in mind. Yeah, you know, I believe that parents, uh, especially moms, it seems like in the early uh, in the early portion of, of a child's life are able to see their gifts, their talents, and their potential in a really unique way that maybe others, others don't. And you know, it talks about Mary. It said that Mary saw these things about Jesus and she pondered them in her heart. Something about a mother, but I, I think as kids get older, they need dads in a different way. Both moms and dads are equipped to be able to see kind of the direction that you need to prompt and lead your kids in. And your goal is... It's not to be the enforcer or the punisher, but it's to create guardrails. And that's what discipline is, to point them in the right direction. Proverbs uh, 23 says that uh, don't, don't hold back discipline from your children. Uh, you're, and it's talking about, in that particular case, the rod. Uh, it talks about spanking. It's talking about the rod. But, uh, but it really has to do with all discipline. It says because you're actually, by creating guardrails of discipline, you're protecting them from, it says in Proverbs 23, from Sheol, which is hell. It says you're actually saving them from hell. You're saving them from going down a, a wrong path that's gonna bring about destruction in their life. So don't be afraid to discipline them. And when our kids were growing up, I think it's important to know that every kid is different. Uh, Ashley was different than Tiffany, and Tiffany was different than Jared. And so because every child has a unique gift and a unique call, you have to discipline them uniquely. Uh, some of our kids, you could just say something to them and they about melted down. And uh, at least one of our children, who shall remain nameless, you could, you could yell, scream, ground, take everything away. You could spank him. You could do whatever you wanted to do. But I said him. Yeah, that you said uh, spank him, yeah. <laughs> Talk about Griffin. Actually. He was just strong. I mean, strong, strong, strong willed. I have no idea where he got that from. Uh, <laughs> but you had to approach that differently. And um, so I think knowing, knowing your child, knowing what, what works, it's not just punishment, but it's creating guardrails. And, you know, you can use a lot of different, a lot of different tools. You can use uh, privileges. You can, uh, removing privileges, you can talk with them, you can explain to them in extreme cases. I mean, uh, we were, in, in our family, uh, we used a wooden spoon occasionally. Uh, and it was not to beat our children, but it was to give them a little bit of, a little bit of uh, pain that then was a reminder that when you openly rebel on things, uh, there's, there's pain, there's pain in life. And so... You know, the wooden spoon from Myers Isle 5 worked really well <laughs> on occasion, but uh, that was rare. Most of the time, it was trying to help create, uh, create an understanding. And so it was when they're real little, it was, you know, you, you sit down and you talk with them. It was removing privileges. Uh, it was grounding them. It was, uh, you know, having, uh, sometimes it was a stern face. Uh, and, and it wasn't always pretty, but you know what? Parenting is hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat sometimes. I mean, training your children up, it's not for the faint of heart. But in the end, you always have to have an end view of who you want your kids to be as adults. And so you're willing for them not to like you today so that they will be who they're supposed to be tomorrow. Um, and um, I'm thinking of that verse. Of course, I don't know where it's at, but... Um, the one where it's fathers, don't frustrate your... Ephesians 5. Yeah, yeah, your children. And two, in that whole discipline thing of just even giving them a voice in it, like obviously discipline them, whatever, but then go back, circle back, pray with them, yep. you know, talk it through so it isn't just this harsh discipline and then it's just done and then they're wondering what's going on, you know what I mean? Kind of yeah. a thing of um, just yeah. not frustrating them, but Yeah, that's also, the word, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. That pro- Ephesians 5 says, don't frustrate your children or provoke them. Right. And sometimes you can be so harsh or you can be, it's just the outward that they don't understand <clears throat> what's going on or why. Uh, I don't think we, we did everything perfect looking back on it. You know, we were young parents and there's things now that we would probably do differently. And now that we have grandchildren and I see my kids uh, disciplining their children, I'm like, hey, take it, <laughs> take it easy on them. Man, they haven't done anything wrong here. I mean, it's not that bad. And then my daughter's like, if we would have pulled that stunt, Dad, you would have been. I'm like, yeah, but you know, I'm softened. I, this is such a funny story. I'll share it, take up time. But um, I had walked in on Ashley and Zach, and they were having dinner, and Owen was sitting there, and he had one tiny piece of carrot, and they were going to make him eat this carrot. And I was like, no, don't, he doesn't have to eat the carrot. It's not that big of a deal. And they're like, Mom, like, back off. And Ellen looks at me and he's like, Mimi, I don't want to eat the carrot. I'm like, you, you don't have to eat that's, the carrot. That's called manipulation, actually, and I, yeah. And I started to cry, Owen started to cry, and I started to cry, and Ashley literally is looking at me like, this is insane. Who are you? I'm like, don't make him eat the carrot. <laughs> And he didn't that night. I'm like, you never have to eat carrots, Owen. It's okay. Here's some candy. Yeah. Okay. 